Hello, in this little lesson, we're going to have a look at solving trig equations by adjusting the domain. And we're going to look at some more tricky examples. So this video assumes that you have already mastered or come a fair bit along the way to be able to solve basic solutions. Now, what that means is that the, um, the variable that you are passing into the trig function it's just a single variable. We call that, I call it the argument. So X is the argument, um, and it's nice and simple like that. Now you might need to do some manipulations like divide both sides by root three here, but effectively it's pretty quick to get it to tan of a variable is equal to a value and then solve. If you haven't got that far, if you haven't mastered that, I wouldn't be attempting this video if I were you. Secondly, this is kind of like, it would be nice if you've done some simple adjustments. So for example, you've been given something like sine of 3x is equal to a half. So the argument is a little bit more complex. It's not just a straightforward single variable. It's three times x. Um, and then you've adjusted the domain by saying, well, 3x is equal to theta. So I'm going to triple the, um, the endpoints of the domain. So that becomes 0 and 6 pi and then solving from there. Now, if you've done that, it's going to make the rest of the video a little bit more simple to understand. If you haven't, then uh, by all means continue, but um, know that you might need to sort of think it through a little bit more slowly than I am going to go. Alrighty, so three nice examples. The first one here is sine of x plus pi on two is equal to a half, and that is across the domain zero to two pi. So again, solving means finding solutions, which means finding values for x for, for which this particular statement is true. Okay, so we're going to uh, start with um, our usual little um, uh, domain adjustment. So I'm going to go uh, let theta equal x plus pi on two. So we always make a different variable. If it's x, I tend to use theta. And if it was theta in here, I tend to use x. Use a different variable and we set it to whatever the whole argument is inside the trig function. Okay, so let x theta equal x plus pi on 2. And what we do now is we consider new boundaries by substituting in the old or original boundaries in for x to work out what the boundary for theta is. Now, I would normally do this in my head, but I'm going to do this um, written down just so you can see the process. Um, then, and this is the bit I do in my head, theta is equal to, 0 plus pi on 2, so that's the first boundary, or the left boundary, which is equal to pi on 2. So that becomes our new left boundary. And for the right boundary, we have 2 pi. So we substitute 2 pi for x, and I get 2 pi plus pi on 2. And a quick little bit of mathematical gymnastics, 2 pi on 2 is 4 pi on 2, plus pi on 2 is 5 pi on 2. Okay, so generally speaking, this is a little thought exercise that I do, and then I go straight to the next line in black. So let theta equal x plus pi on two, then we have the sine of theta equals a half for theta belonging to pi on two, the new lower boundary, to five pi on two, the new upper boundary, like so. Okay. So as usual, we will do, uh, first of all, so from now on, it's really just like a basic um, a basic trig solution. And then we need to do some more tricky stuff at the end. So here we go. So we've got sine theta equals a half. As usual, we first consider sine of theta hat. So that base angle is equal to a half. And then this is where we can consult with our uh, table of values to work out what that be. And just as a really quick aside, what I would do is I would just do a quick drawing because um, with uh, uh, I can't I can't really remember all the values, but I can remember how to draw the triangles really quickly. So I know that a half will come from that middle, uh, from that um, half of a, uh, a equilateral triangle where the side length down here is one, the side length of the hypotenuse is two, and that's root three. So that angle in there is uh, 60 degrees, that's pi on three. And that angle there is pi on six, 30 degrees. So really quickly, I can draw that triangle. Honestly, it takes me just a couple of seconds to draw these days. Um, and it means that um, I can quickly refer to that rather than looking at my table of values. It is absolutely fine to just look at your table of values on your information sheet. 
I just personally find that it's a lot um, better if I draw my triangle up really quickly, just reinforces those relationships over and over and over again. Okay, so from that triangle or from your information sheet, we can see that uh, a half has a base angle of opposite over hypotenuse. So it's opposite pi on six. So that means that theta hat, that base angle is pi on six. Good, 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 good. So what next? We then consider that whole domain then. It's the new domain though, it's the domain of theta. So I can see that the domain goes all the way from pi on two, which is in that sort of first cycle of the quadrant. So I'm gonna draw a set of axes for the first cycle. That's zero to pi to two pi. And then five pi on two is going to be in the second cycle, because it's gonna be one more than four pi on two, which is two pi. So I'm going to draw one more, and I'm going to go 2 pi, um, and then, well, I don't think I'll get to pi, will I? Let's have a look at this. So we're going to have from pi on 2, so that's going to be up here. So I don't consider this. So that's not considered. It starts here, goes around here to 2 pi, and then goes from 2 pi, that's 4 pi on 2, to here, which is 5 pi on 2. So I've got 5 pi on 2 here. And then that's where it stops. This is based upon the domain that I worked out from the previous step. There it is there. Okay, so these are the, um, the values we're considering. Now we've got sine is equal to positive a half, which means that I need to look at where sine is positive. It's positive there in that cycle, and it's positive here in this cycle. And this is the only place that sine is positive. So that's, these are, there are only two solutions then. We're going to have one solution here where we've got theta hat between the x-axis and the unit line and same thing over here between the x-axis and the unit line. We just need to figure out what that is. So I go theta is equal to, so remembering that is pi on 6. So I've got all the way to pi but then back pi on 6. So pi is 6 pi on 6 minus 1 pi on 6. So that's going to be 5 pi on 6. And then our solution from here is going to be from 2 pi plus another pi on 6. So 2 pi is 12 pi on 6 plus another pi on 6 will give me 13 pi on 6. And this is now when we convert back. And we originally had theta equaling x plus pi on 2, which means that these two values must also equal x plus pi on 2. Okay, good, good, good. So now we just need to solve for x because we don't need to solve for theta, right? That's just a middle step. It's x is what we're looking for. That's the original question. So that's what we need to do. And that's just as simple as subtracting pi on 2 from this side and subtracting pi on 2 from each of our solutions here. I'm just going to pop x on the other side, though, because it makes more sense to read left to right that way. So again, what I'm doing is I'm just going to convert in my head these two uh, fractions over 6 because it, then it's easy for me to do the calculations. So pi on 2 is going to be what? 3 pi on 6. So I'm going to go 5 pi on 6 minus 3 pi on 6 is going to be 2 pi on 6. And 13 pi on 6 minus 3 pi on 6 is equal to 10 pi on 6. You won't get full answers for leaving it in that format there. You're going to have to cancel down. So you're going to divide top and bottom by 2 to get pi on 3 and top and bottom by 2 to get 5 pi on 3. And these are our two solutions. Note um, that these two values here, pi on 3 and 5 pi on 3, do fit in the original domain. It's worth just doing a quick check by eyeball. Um, are these inside this original domain? And if the answer is no, they're not, you've probably stuffed up somewhere and you should fix it up. Okay, I've got two more examples to show you, but I'm conscious that this video is already a little bit longer than um, I was hoping for. So I'm going to stop this video here so you can have a mental break and I'll create a new video with the uh, other two examples.